in what aspects of neuroscience is philosophy involved? Wow, this is a really great question. Um, I think about this quite a lot. Uh, I'd say that philosophy and psychology and neuroscience are some of the most um, important topics that I can research in business, sales, and marketing. Um, I, I think this connection between neuroscience and philosophy is a really, really profound connection to make. Um, and I think it's best answered by actually looking at psychology. <clears throat> now, I've been I've been aware of and researching and practicing psychology through sales and marketing uh, much longer than I've been involved with neuroscience. But I would say that psychology um, in this, <laughs> this might be an unpopular opinion, but I would say that psychology is, is kind of where philosophy was in pre-Socratic times. Um, yeah, there's, there's almost no connection between psychology and neuroscience, and yet neuroscience is answering um, literally every single philosophical question that psychology has asked. So I would say that the connection to neuroscience and philosophy is akin to the connection between neuroscience and psychology. And I would say that, you know, in what aspects of neuroscience is psychology involved um, would work just the same as asking in what aspects of neuroscience is philosophy involved. So I hope this helps. And that's a great question. Um, stay curious. Thank you.